Hi, this is Tim from RealWebsiteHints.com, and in this video, I wanted to share with you guys a quick tip on how you can build a web page offline on your computer and then quickly and easily uh, publish that page to a live website that you have. Um, this tip does require using the Divi theme. It is absolutely one of my favorite themes uh, to use right now just because it has so many handy features, and uh, this is one of the features uh, that we've got right now. So here's a page that I created um, all about Divi that I want to publish to realwebsitehints.com and this here is what the current page looks like. So you can see I've made um, a couple of <laughs> a couple of design improvements to the page here and what I want to be able to do is just quickly upload this page which is actually living on my computer on my laptop and publish that uh, live to the web without you know having to do any uh, real hassle kind of work and without having to build and design the page online. And if you want to see how you can install WordPress on your Mac or on your PC, um, check out the description below or check out the info box at the top and I've got a couple of videos that will show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so the first thing we want to do is we just want to go to edit page on the page that we want to transfer over. Okay, and now, um, what Divi is going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to save this uh, page here to the library, and that serves a lot of uh, great features. Um, one of the features is to transfer it to a different website, which is what I'm going to do here. Um, you can also use it as a technique of building pages that you're going to be reusing frequently or similar designs you're going to be reusing, using frequently, and then just have that as your own uh, template that you can use. So just click on Save to Library here. We're going to give it a name. Divi page. I'm just going to call it Divi page 2 because I think I already did a test one where I called it Divi page. And then we go click save here. And there we go. And now um, it is in my library. So if you go over here to Divi and you go to Divi library, you'll see, bam, right there, Divi page 2. Um, Divi page is the same thing that I just created earlier, just as a test. And now what we can do is we can actually export this as a file and then import it into my live website online. So to do that, we go over here to import and export and actually we've got to do one more thing let's just close this real quick um, we need to check this box right here since that's the single item that we want to import and export and then we go to import and export and then we do import only selected items and then let's just give it a name here so we call it divi page 2 export divi builder layers and then now that's saving it to my downloads folder and then let's just go ahead and close this. And now I'm going to go back. So now we're on the back end of my live website. What we want to do is we want to go over to the Divi settings here. And we want to go to Divi library. And we're going to choose import and export. And now we're going to import that file by clicking import up here. I'm going to choose the file. So it's this file here, this Divi page 2.json. And that's going to have all of the elements of that page, all of the images and everything. And we just click on this button down here. It says Import Divi Builder Layouts. All right, and there we go. And now we can see that that uh, layout is right here under Divi Page 2. So now I just need to go back over to my Divi page. So now we're on the back end of the live Divi page that I have. And what we want to do is we want to click on Load from Library. And we want to do Add from Library rather than the predefined layouts. And then you want to, if you're redoing your page like I am, you want to click on this box or you want to make sure this box is checked that says replace the existing content with the loaded layout. And we're going to load this Divi page 2, which I uploaded. All right, so now it has changed um, all of the settings in this page, and we can check that by just clicking on Preview Changes. And here we go. Now, I did notice um, there is a little bit of a glitch with this, and if you'll see some of the sections here, um, these were full width sections here and if you look at the top here these pictures were touching the edges here and so that's an issue with the gutter it didn't uh, bring over the gutter settings and that's really easy to fix so back to the page um, you actually want to make sure you don't click the edit page button on the preview tab um, because that is going to open up the old page you want to go up to the to your browser to the tabs and you want to go uh, back to the tab where you started editing this page with Okay, and then over here for the settings for this row, we're going to click on this button here, and we're just going to turn the gutter width down to 1, and then do Save and Exit. I'm going to do the same thing for, for the section down here, which had the same issue. And bring the gutter width back down to 1, and you can always preview 
um, that the change has taken effect and you can see now it's going all the way full width we're going to do save and exit and then the one last thing I want to do is scroll down here to the bottom and here I have an email opt-in form and since on the test site on my computer I don't have I don't have the MailChimp API set up I need to make sure that this is set up with the mailing list and MailChimp API on here. So I'm just going to click on settings here and then I'm going to select the list which I wasn't able to do before and then I can click on save and exit. And now we can just scroll up here to the top and we can click update and when I do that like a flick of the switch it's going to switch my web page over from my old web page to my new web page. So let's go ahead and do that. And now if we go up here to view page we can see that it has changed that to my brand new Divi page. So there you go. That's a quick tip on how to quickly change over one web page to another one if you've built a web page on your computer and you want to bring it over to a live environment. And this is using the Divi theme. If you're interested in the Divi theme, you can head over to realwebsitehints.com slash Divi. And for more tips like this, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you need help building your website from beginning to end using the Divi theme, head over to realwebsitehints.com slash Divi. And at the bottom of the page, you'll find information about my complete online course. Thanks for watching.